entertainment without bad. Rape is having sexual intercourse with someone without consent. And in recent time, there's been so many rape cases, not just rape cases, but cases where the victims were murdered after the rape incident. And that is why on social media in recent time, there's been a lot of outrage towards rape and even rapists. On Enola Badmos TV, we definitely stand against rape, but we want to know what you think about rape and the recent killings of young girls in Nigeria. We'll be going out on the street today to check out what people think about the recent rape incidents, the killings, as well as what they think government should do to tackle rape in Nigeria. I am Elisha Moyosara Lua. Come with us as we check out people's opinion. All I can say about this rape issue is people are more bold, okay? In the time past, when you are raped, you are forced into being ashamed. You don't want to talk about it. But because of social media, people are bold now. People can come out and say their story without being shamed. So that's why it looks like it's more popular. It has always been there. And it's a culture that we need to deal with. I always advise parents, don't just focus on training your female children train your male children teach them to respect women respect their sisters respect women's body no means no don't just say ah women like it you do whatever you like with them no means no let them have that respect from small for the female gender when they grow up they cannot rape women i always wonder how men feel especially the ones that rape people and they have the guts to talk about it with other guys and they just feel like it's okay. So that's the only way we can cuddle it. The generation we have now that have that kind of mindset, there is nothing you can do about it. You can only arrest them and put them in prison. But the upcoming generation, let the women train their children properly. Train your sons. Don't just focus on training your daughters. Train your sons. And for the ladies, I don't know how women take the risk in the name of love. When I was in the university, I had a friend who is who someone he met online came all the way from Enugu to Portacourt for the first time. You've never met the person before, but you came all the way. And you are willing to spend the night in the house of somebody you've never met before, someone you've not seen close to. I called her, I asked her, who knows you are here? He said, nobody. Did you tell your, your friend? He said, nobody. I said, you need to go back. You understand? So women should stop taking this kind of risk. It doesn't matter how they sound, how nice they are. Stop taking unnecessary risk with men. Someone you are not sure of, you're just meeting the person because you've been chatting. You follow the person to where you don't know. It's too dangerous. So that's all I can say. Let's train our sons properly. Women should be more careful. My name is Timothy Boniface Wankwo. I think uh, the rape going on in Nigeria, in some, in other way around, somehow uh, women are still contributing to the uh, to the to the rape. In a sense that instead of them to wear clothes and cover their body very well, they will not do it. They will dress half naked. Some men, most of them, when they smoke in their hem. They see some things that they are not supposed to see. They, are, they can be moved. So through that, can, you know, they attract uh, rape in, one, in some case. My name is Peter. What I think that caused the rape is that maybe I don't think that, to me, what I see rape is, I don't think that it's something that's natural. It's maybe spiritual or something, because to me, I, sometimes when I hear about it, I was imagining, could this kind of thing should be happen at this, time of, at this time of the age, which me, I don't even really believe that it's supposed to happen now. That's why I say it's not a natural something. of factors responsible for the rape in Nigeria now. Like, 
Some ladies are wearing enticing clothes, and which is very bad for some guys that have dirty minds. And what can stop it is maybe promulgating a law, death sentence, castration for the guy involved. I think that will, that will stop it. The religious leader, they need to do something about it. It's not the issue of, uh, it's a social problem that we need to address from home. Setting on the punishment for raping. They have to do something. They have to control our the young ladies and even women also. The mode of their dressing, the way they talk, the way they interact with known and unknown people. There is nothing guiding those who are. It's only punishment on the rapers, which is uh, which I think is necessary to do something to control those uh, the, the women also, so that they can you know put themselves in right order. Raping the underage something is mostly rampant on spiritual issues. But the, the young ones, the, the elderly people, is the mode of the addressing and everything. To me, oh, because if I don't see anything that is, uh, you know, attractive to me, I won't, my mind will not be there. So governments will do something about that, not just punishment, punishment on those who are raping them. That's the way I see it. I think it's a very bad um, experience for the person involved and also it's a very bad um, thing, thing to do as human. So I think um, the best way to go, um, we need more sensitization. I mean to say we need more, uh, we need to actually um, sensitize the people about rape and also let them know the adverse effect on the person and also on the economy and on, and on human being as a person. So. I think um, also from the government side, um, the rape, um, the rapist, whoever is involved in that kind of um, um, a barbaric act, should be probably uh, given a very um, tough um, kind of um, punishment. So that will actually give um, will give the other people signal that. So if I'm actually, if I actually did do this, I'm involved in rape. Um, this will be my consequences. Will be my um, my punishment for it. I think they should they should get it to the, to take it to the local police, take it to the local government, and have a very um, a strong and uh, very it should be on it. There should be a standpoint. I mean, there should be a very strong um, punishment for people like that. It should go to the very to go to the locals to the to the to go to the very min, min, barest of um, um, the, the society. So everybody knows that this is the punishment when you when you when you rape. Maybe 10, 15 years imprisonment or death sentence. Let everybody be aware of this. It should be on the website. It should be on the internet. It should be on the TVs. Because it's a very bad thing to do. For me, I don't know what to say. But in the other way around. The issue of rape. I've been hearing some people talking about the victim. The victim are the cause of the rape. But for me, the victims are not the cause. In the sense that, okay, just imagine the Ibadan girl they just raped. She wore an hijab. So tell me, is that one, one of the major reasons she was raped? Because she was naked. She wasn't naked. So I don't think there is any big deal in that. It's just about some people are just like, if they don't have a woman they desire, they can never get to it. Just so painful, honestly, it's just so painful about this rape of the thing. It's very, very painful because people are just going through hell because of this rape. I don't know. Okay, just imagine father raping their own child. So what's that one for? Is it the way they dress? No, I can't classify it the way they dress. If you have it in your blood of raping someone, being a rapist, it's always there, no matter what.
issue of rape in Nigeria today, I am not happy about it. It's a rape against God. It's a, it's a crime against God. It's a crime against humanity. You see a girl, you, 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 you take advantage of her because you're a man, you overpower her, you, 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 you defile her. I even kill in the process. It is too bad. Rapists should not be allowed to go scot-free. They should be apprehended, punished according to the law. If possible, they should be carcerated so that others will learn from that. So the government of the Federation should do findings and find out why the issue of rape today has become so rampant in recent times. They should do their findings and find out you know, what exactly is going on, what actually is triggering this issue of rape in the recent times. And those rapists, when they are apprehended, they should punish them. They should get capital punishment. No crime should, be, should go scot-free. Do you understand? They should be punished according to the law. That is my take on that. I am not happy I'm a woman. I'm a lady. Imagine my girl child being raped. Do you understand? It is a serious crime. And they should not be allowed to go scot-free. Henceforth, let the government of the Federation take the issue of rape more seriously. In this country, it is so rampant. Though, the one thing about rape in this country is that you discover that it is when there is an incident that people will start you know, talking about it, protesting and all of that, which is quite um, unfortunate. Every single lady out there, they have their own share, whether being molested or being harassed. But with the way things are in this country, majority of people will keep it to themselves. And even you've seen cases where, situations whereby they will go to a police station and, you know, they face a lot of things, which is quite unfortunate like I said earlier but if there will be a, a standard a policy in place in this country whereby anybody that you know any rapist will face some people said they passed a bill and it was not taken up blah 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 I wouldn't know but there should be a punishment for a rapist in this country whether the thought of rape seriously even the thought of rape to me is still rape you know, and even those small children out there, the children, they, are, they, they can't talk. They don't have anybody to express. Even the, the, those people that have victimized them, we still tell them not to, not, not to open up, which is, which is painful on our own part as female. And my own advice is just that for every young female, every young parent, we should try as much as possible to raise our, 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 our male children well. Let them know the implication of, of this so-called um, rape that we are talking about. They should, they should train them well. And I, I discovered that the society is, you know, we, we are focusing more on the, female, on the female children rather than the male children. Okay, free parts to, to female children, um, education for female children. What are we putting in place for male children? Nobody is taking care of them. And that is why they will grow up to destroy the life of the females, the female children that we thought we are, you know, we are raising well. So I think as a society, we should raise our own children. We should try as much as possible to raise them well. And the government too should put measures in place as punishment, it's a standard. If you do this, this is the consequence. So if all of that will be in place, then fine. Probably there will be a reduce, but I'm not sure we can, it can be eradicated because this is end time already. So we are seeing lots, a lot of things are invading itself. So that's just it. Okay, it's very, very bad. And for everybody that, that is involved in the act has to be put to justice. They have to take them to, to court and they have to deal with them very, very well. Yeah, it's, 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 
I've, I've never been, been involved, but I know a few friends that have to, you know, confide in you to tell you, okay, this is what they, uh, they've passed through or they're passing through, even while we're growing up, you know. It might not be rape like that, but molesting children. Yeah, it's very, very bad. And the government has to really, really look into it. Really, really look into it because it's not a good experience. For both male and female, it's not. <laughs>